today we're here to celebrate the topping out of this building that you can see behind me. This is a phenomenal milestone in the development of the project. Four years ago, it was pretty hard to imagine that we'd have 8 million pounds of rebar and 27,000 yards of concrete sitting there. But that's what's happened in the last 12 months. And we want to take this opportunity to thank everybody who's been involved in the project. Welcome everybody, great to have you all here. Thanks for showing up. Purpose of all getting together tonight is really simple. We just want to say thanks for all your help and support to get us to this moment in time, which is the topping out of this incredible building. We just know we couldn't have got here without everybody's support. And I don't want to bore you with a lot of thank yous. That wouldn't be right in a rock and roll type of spirit. So what I will do is introduce the rock stars of San Diego. Give it up for Jerry Sanders, the mayor of San Diego. <laughs> Yes, thank you. This just reminds me of a couple of weeks ago. I want to start singing because I saw Roger Waters of uh, Pink Floyd up at the Hollywood Bowl. It was a great <laughs> night. We'd like to welcome the Hard Rock to San Diego. I'd like to think that you really symbolize what San Diego is right now in the downtown area. And that's excitement, that's vibrancy, it's colorful, it's energetic. It, it really symbolizes what's going on downtown. And the tourism industry is so important to San Diego. This is just what San Diego's about right now. And if you look out and see the bay and the ocean uh, and Petco Park right next door, you've probably got the prime site in San Diego. We're excited to have Hard Rock here. Uh, it's going to be a, a, a great opening party, and it's going to be a lot of fun for everybody in the city. So thank you very much, Cass. Welcome. <laughs> and the uh, rock star in training. Our new councilman, Kevin Falconer. <laughs> Thank you, Cass. I'll, I'll just be the roadie. You know, I carry the mayor's stuff. Um, I, too, want to just say, as somebody who's fortunate enough to represent our downtown area, what this really means to downtown. We're not even halfway done with the renaissance of downtown. And you can look out where we are, as the mayor just said, look out over our bay, look out over our ballpark next door, all the other quality development that is happening. To have the brand name of Hard Rock, right here in the gas lamp corner, right across from our convention center as part of our entryway, our gateway uh, to downtown San Diego, it makes a tremendous statement in my mind of not only what we've become here downtown, but where we're going in the future. It's great to be here tonight and I'm gonna congratulate everybody and I can't wait to come back when we actually cut the ribbon to open it. Thank you very much. This guy's so smooth, it must be politicians. <laughs> so uh, I thought we'd do a couple of things. First, we have these gorgeous fenders behind us, and these are gifts for our distinguished guests. And I'm not going to ask Jerry to play this. I'm going to ask Jerry to smash this in true rock and roll style. So let's get him. Come on, Jerry. Come on, big guy. Yeah, are you right, getting right one there, also? Baby. Are you right going to do yeah, one? I'll get one, too. Okay. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Yeah! <laughs> Kevin? There we go! Woo! <laughs> Champagne! Still good tone. Thank you again. That was way so what cool. What do you think about the smashing of the guitar? It was probably the highlight of my week, my month, <laughs> my year, <laughs> my adult life. I had a great that time. <laughs> the mayor's like Springsteen. He's the boss. Thank he you. gets to smash the guitar. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you know who this is? That was awesome. You did great. This is the best architect on the planet Damn, right here, Johnny Starr. How are you doing? Thank you, guys. Take a bow, honey boy. And uh, over here. Honey. These, these guys are our Hard Rock corporate partners, OK? Couldn't get anything done without them. Give it up for Jay and Rico. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you know what Hard Rock really symbolizes San Diego right now? Uh, we're, a, we're a young downtown. We're developing. Uh, we're having a great time doing it. It's lively. It's colorful. It's bright. That's what you think about when you think of Hard Rock. Uh, you think of something that's really cool, and that's what downtown is right now also. This is a tremendous location. You've got a bay view. You can actually see the ocean from here. Uh, you see aircraft carriers across the bay. You see cruise ships uh, just down the Embarcadero. You've got the convention center, baseball. Um, you're right in the thick of things in San Diego. There isn't a better location downtown than the one you're uh, in right now with the Hard Rock Hotel. We need more rooms downtown. Uh, we're outgrowing and outpacing the demand for rooms that we have. 
And we get big events here all the time where we don't have enough rooms in downtown San Diego. Right across the street, we have a million people coming every day. Um, every day, every year. <laughs> we wish every day. Yeah, no, we don't. <laughs> but we, act, we actually have more demand than we have space. Hard Rock is just one more wonderful product to make our product that much stronger. Health of the tourism market is extremely strong. We're coming off of a record summer. Uh, we had record occupancies. Uh, rates are, are doing very well. The only way for us to grow and expand is to add quality hotel rooms and a nice mix of hotel rooms into the destination. So the Hard Rock project is very exciting to us from the CBB world because it brings a unique brand, a unique type of property into downtown that I think many would argue we currently don't have. And I think if you look at the hotel industry as a whole nationwide, the growth of kind of boutique, experientially based properties is the growth market for, for hotels. The building's just a topping off party. This is, the, this is the time when the building's reached its maximum, the whole envelope is there. This is when it really gets exciting for us. Now it's real, it's up, it's in the sky. Up till now it's been just a figment of our imaginations and we've had it ready to try and visualize what these spaces are. Now the spaces are there. Our work starts to come in now. You know, the walls need to be framed and then we've got to come in and we've got to articulate all those spaces. So, I mean, everyone's been talking about this for, in all kinds of circles for years. A Hard Rock Hotel is coming to town, it's going to be this, going to be that. There's all kinds of posters up and there's great momentum built behind this particular project and the brand, what it means. And it is the biggest building happening downtown right now, right in the heart of the gas lamp. And there hasn't really been another project that's driven, other than the ballpark, that I can think of, that's driven this higher level of public kind of intrigue. It's like Magic Mountain came to town for adults. And it's just a hell of an exciting thing because what it really means is that there's something that's really cool, really forward, really modern, but it has this great soul about it and that people all understand, they can all connect with it. And I think that's just an amazing thing for the city. It's almost like some sort of gift to the city. Is that how I look, that's how I would look at this project. And it's just been incredible to be associated with this at any level. My favorite concert. It's a tough, tough call. But I think, uh, see, God, what is that tough call? Well, there's several, but it was probably the, uh, uh, the Rolling Stones tour, Steel Wheels tour. I think it was probably in, uh, uh, what was it, probably 86. Guns N' Roses opened, Stones were the headliner in the L.A. Coliseum. How's that? You know, I, th in my life, in the last year, I've got to be see the three bands I wanted to see most. I went and saw U2. I saw Rolling Stones right across the street in Petco Park. And uh, two weeks ago, I went up and saw Roger Waters, uh, the Pink Floyd group up in Hollywood Bowl. So uh, if I never see another concert, I've lived my life. My favorite concert was Queen. Where was that? Cleveland, Ohio, my hometown. Right. 1975. Cool. Freddie Mercury. Right. And he hit the high notes that night. My favorite concert was Judas Priest, Long Beach. I don't remember who was opening for him. I'm not sure I remember the concert, but I sure remember the hotel room after the concert. Eat your meat. How can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? Yeah, Pink Floyd. <laughs> That's for Jerry.